Okay, so I'm going to show you my workflow of how I stick tattoo stencils. I feel a lot of tattoo artists really struggle with this. The first thing I do is apply hand sanitizer to the skin. This removes any dirt and oil and also dries the skin out really nice to apply the uh, stencil to. I usually repeat this step two times. The first time is to make sure that all the oils are gone off the skin. And the second time is to make sure the skin is nice and dry and prepped for shaving. The shaving is really an important step. Even if there's no hair, you would still have to shave the skin. Uh, it really gets off all the dead skin cells and cleans any remaining oil or dirt that's on the skin. One of the issues of tattooing over hair is that the actual tattoo needles can push hair follicles underneath the skin, which can cause a pretty nasty infection. And you definitely don't want that. There are a few different products that are used to actually make the stencil stick to the skin. Um, the one that I'm gonna be using here is Stencil Stuff. And that is the one product I like that I've had the most luck with. When you apply the stencil stuff solution, make sure to coat the whole area that's gonna be stuck with the stencil very well. Um, it, you want a tacky consistency, not overly wet or the stencil will bleed and not too dry or the stencil won't stick. So I keep applying it over and over until it dries and gets a little bit tacky. At that point, you're ready to apply your stencil. When I apply the stencil, I make sure to press down very firmly and I'll let it sit there for a few seconds before I carefully remove it. Once the stencil's stuck, I'll use a paper towel to blot the stencil, and I'll check for any leftover ink residue on the paper towel, and I'll basically just continue blotting it until there's a clean paper towel with no ink on it. And then at that point, I'll let it dry for a few more minutes, and then I'll start the tattoo. 